Hi, my name is Vivek Adhikari. I am your English instructor. In today's class, we are going to solve the writing portion of Unit 14, that is, how to write a biography. So, let's begin. Let us now start by reading a sample biography. Let's look at the first biography of an American writer named Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway was one of the great American writers of the 20th century. He was born on 21 July in Oak Park, Illinois, the second of six children. His family was strict and very religious. His father taught his children a love of nature and the outdoor life. Ernest caught his first fish at the age of three and was given a shotgun for his twelfth birthday. His mother taught him a love of music and art. At school, he was good at English and wrote for the school newspaper. He graduated in 1917, but he didn't go to college. He went to Kansas City and worked as a journalist for the Star newspaper. He learned a lot, but left only after six months to go to war. Source New Headway Intermediate Students Book. Now this was just a sample biography, right? Here we have the word July. So what do we learn from this sample biography? We learn that Ernest Hemingway was one of the great American writers of 20th century. We also learn that uh, he was born on 21 July in a place called Oak Park, Illinois, the second of six children. His family was very strict and religious, but uh, he developed, you know, a deep love towards nature and outdoor life. So he was always vigorous. He was always, you know, outgoing. He, he loved nature. That's why... So here are some examples. He caught his first fish at the age of three. Got his, you know, got a shotgun his his twelfth birthday. And what it what his mother did was, she taught him a love of music and art. And he was really good at English. That's why he wrote for the school newspaper. He graduated in 1917. He graduated from high school in 1917, but he never really went to the college. He went to Kansas City, rather, and worked as a journalist in the Star newspaper. So he learned a lot there. He learned about writing. He learned about writing short sentences and effective phrases. He learned about, you know, editing and all those different things. And finally, after six months, he went to the war. Let us start by learning what biography really is. Biography is the story of a real person's, real person's life written by someone other than the person. What that means is it is written about someone, but it is written by someone else. So it is written about a real person, a real famous person, but it is not written by the same person, but rather it is written by someone else. So it is written about famous people, people like maybe Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, Ernest Hemingway, you know, so these famous, these, these people, so we write biographies about these people because they are famous it is a usually written history of a person's life so it is something like a written history from the birth of the person to the death of the person right so how was his or her childhood like what did uh, he or she do when while growing and things like that and what different kinds of hardship did he or she encounter in his or her life and things like that. So it is usually a written history of a person's life. It is usually a written history of a person's life. It can also be compared with other form of writings like memoir and autobiography. But there's a slight difference, you know, there, indeed there's a huge difference. But in a manner of saying there's a slight difference between memoir autobiography you know among memoir autobiography and biography because biography is written by someone else someone other than the person but mem autobiography is written by the person himself take for example mandela's long walk to freedom or mahatma gandhi's my experiments with truth so those books are ex actually written by the person themselves so that's what we call them autobiographies memoir is a smaller form of you know it's a subset of autobiography what that means is in memoir writing uh, the author only writes something you know some some interesting things that happened in his or her life so it is not like the whole history the whole written history it's not not something like that but rather it is a short snapshot of a person's life now in your exam you'll be asked to write a short biography about 
a person so it could be a Nepali person it could be an Indian person it could be any person right so you would often be asked to write a biography for six marks or five marks so in that sense you're not going to write you know pages and pages of long boring uh, history about the person but rather you are going to write short and sweet introduction introductory you know biography something like that so some hints would be given take for example this is one example that I have taken from your book. It is the biography of Sor Samrat Narayan Gopal Guru Vacharya. Right? So we have different, you know, different ideas. Like we have, we've been given the date of birth of that person, the name of his parents, the name of his spouse. And what different kind of popular songs did he sing? So we are, the list is here. And the awards and the date of demise. Everything is given right everything is given in the question now what you should do is you should try to write a biography based on this information so how shall you start maybe you can write three paragraphs of biography not more than that because it is only for five marks or six marks the most so you only need to write three paragraphs in the first paragraph the introductory paragraphs just write about his date of birth, his parents and spouse and things like that. In the second paragraph, go and write about struggles. And your struggles and everything. Write about the popular songs, write about the awards and demise. And finally, in the last paragraph, write about his, his or her demise and how he uh, see is remembered till date. Let's look at these hints. The date of birth of Sor Samrat was October 4, 1939. His parents were Asa Gopal Guruvacharya and Rama Ram Devi Guruvacharya. And the name of his spouse was Pemla Lama. And he sang famous songs like Euta Mancheko Maya Likati, Yosamzini Mansa, Kehimi Thobatagara. Over 500 songs for films, opera, dramas and others. Correct? And he got different awards like he got the best singer award from Radio Nepal. In the year 1967, he got Gorkha Dakshin Bahu 4th. In 1976, he got Indra, Indra Rajya Lakshmi Award in 1983. He got Chinnalata Award in 1987, Tri Shakti Patta in 1990 and many more. And he died on December 5, 1990 in Kathmandu. So that is his short biography. Now I want you to write three paragraphs about Sor Samrat Narayan Gopal Guru Acharya. Can you do it? I guess you can. So this is the usual thing about any kind of writing. It starts from introduction, goes to body and ends with conclusion. In the introduction, talk about the person's state of birth. Also talk about his or her parents. Write about the name of the spouse, if it is mentioned, or name of the husband sometime. And write about his or her childhood. So don't forget childhood. How was his childhood or her childhood? It was, it, was it good or was it happy? Was it unhappy? Things like that. Write about that. In the body paragraph, write about the struggles. All the struggles that the person went through. Write about achievements. What different kinds of things did that person achieve? So write things like that. About Write about struggles. Write about achievements. In the final paragraph, write about death. When did the person die? And write about how is he remembered or how is she remembered. Write about things like that. So we have introduction, body and finally conclusion. In the introductory part you will write some two or three sentences. In the body paragraph you would generally write five, six sentences. In the conclusion paragraph you would again write two or three sentences. So that is around... 9 to 12 sentences, right? So it's 9 to 12 sentences. Not lines, sentences. Sentences begin with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or period, question mark, or sometimes an exclamation mark. So 9 to 12 sentences, correct? That's around a page of A4 size paper. That's around a page. A page length biography so this could be the tentative first paragraph right how many lines does this paragraph have three lines okay so this could be the tentative first paragraph 
How many sentences starts with a capital letter, ends here? One sentence. Let's do the sentence count first. Starts with a capital letter, ends here. Second sentence. Starts with a capital letter, ends here. Third sentence. So we have three sentences. So it is a three sentences long paragraph. The first one is Narayan Gopal, also known as the Source Samrat of Nepal, was born on October 4, 1939. His parents were Asa Gopal Guruvachare and Rama, Ram Devi Guruvachare. From his childhood, he developed a keen interest in music. Although these sentences are not much cohesive, but this is more or less. So what you will write in your exam, because you are not going to write an exact form of biography. You are only going to write some, you know, short snapshot of someone's lives, because you'll be given lots and lots of hints. And from those hints, you are going to induce, you know, you are going to derive a biography of sorts. Not exactly a biography, but something of something of that sort. Now, in the second paragraph, what will you write? You'll write about the person's struggle. What did the person do? What different kind of, you know, songs did the person sing? How did he achieve that musical talent and all these things? And in the last paragraph, third paragraph, you'll write about his death. When did he die? And... Why is he still remembered? Are his songs still popular, still relevant? So those things. Can you do this? Do this? I guess you can. With this, we have come to the end of today's class. Now I'm going to give you some homework as usual. So this is your homework. I want you to find out who is your role model. Now do you have some role model? Maybe it's Mahatma Gandhi or maybe it's Steve Jobs or maybe it's Lakshmi Prasad Devakota. Go and find out. Uh, think deeply and deeply think look inside be re be introspective and try to find your role model after that collect information about him aha you have google you have wikipedia you have libraries you have resources you have newspapers so collect as much as information as you can and write a biography based on the information that you collected can you do this you will only need to write a three paragraph long biography and it's pretty easy I think you can. Can you do it? All right, you can. With this, we have come to end of today's class. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding this video series, feel free to write us at learning at Thank you.